It's just a little, trying to show y'all a little bit of how I, uh, or what I feed my animals. Um, got to hear a little, little raw. That's what I feed my older dogs. Got chicken, chicken feet. I got turkey neck, chicken neck, chicken breast, round turkey, uh, boneless chicken thigh, uh, boneless skinless chicken thighs, uh, boneless pork chops. I believe this is 80 20 ground beef, 10 pounds. This is, and sometimes I grab stuff like if I see anything on specials. This was some wings, uh, I think five pounds of wings. I forgot how much they were. I just grab stuff sometimes. Uh, this I got in Walmart, some chicken thighs. Uh, excuse the mess, like I said, I'm cleaning out here. Uh, do it, doing a little inventory. This ran me 450. These are livers, gizzards, chicken hearts. Right now, what I got going on here making bone broth for the dogs so that's bone broth right there I'm making right now for the puppy what I do with my puppy I feed him right now I feed him kibbles kibble and I also f cooking for him like sweet potatoes um, I give whole eggs um, I, well uh, um, what you call boiled, boiled eggs um, soft boiled eggs I like where where it's still um, the inside is not fully cooked I like I give I give them that um, so in the, in, the, in the mornings what I try to do I give my dog kibbles I also give them I make like a cereal with it this uh, goat milk and powder I give him I've been feeding him the pro plan focus I was gonna change it to this to the diamond puppy but I then I heard that um, they have too, re, too much recalls so so I'm, I'm probably gonna return that and stick with the pro plan I give that in the morning but I also cook for the puppy, meaning I'll make like with ca uh, carrots, um, uh, brown rice, um, um, kelp, uh, broccoli. Um, so I make that with, with, let's say, the boneless, skinless chicken or the lean ground uh, turkey, turkey. So... That's one thing I do for him. And then slowly, like that's how I did with, with Tessa. And then slowly I transition into um, into uh, to the, the raw. And the reason and the reason why I, I like to feed kibble, my this is me, this is my opinion. I I do it like this. Is the reason why I feed kibble and raw is trying to get it, you know, keep them used to eating both. I mean, that, that's my that's my me. I mean, people could be like, you don't know what you're talking about, whatever, but I just think of it like this. If, if I was to go away in, in an emergency or whatever and I need somebody to babysit my dogs, nobody's going to sit over here and, and, and feed them, feed them raw for me. You know, maybe they'll do it for a day or two, but then they'll be like, I ain't doing all that. Oh, and then, and then this box right here, sorry, I'm all over the place. This box right here. It's a 40 pound of drumsticks. I get, and I get that, um, I got that also. So of course, you gotta watch for your E. coli and salmonella and all that, so just um, make sure you, you know, keep sanitized. You know, I got my bleaches and stuff right here. <laughs> of course, so, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just a little peek of how what I, what I do with with the dogs.
not normally like I said I grab stuff like if I see something on uh, on special whatever I, um, I grab something and uh, I don't got a lot of dogs I, I mean like I, I got three I got a, the puppy and, and, and the two you know Tessa, well Tessa's still a puppy and uh, it's not that bad for me um uh, I don't know who, anyone that, you know, guys that got a whole lot of dogs, you know, I, what, what's going to run you guys, but for the most part, they've been working out for me, you know, dogs are doing good on it, um, so, alright guys, well that's it, just a little sneak peek, like I said, you know, take care now, be safe.